Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. I hope everyone's okay and having a good week. It's absolutely lovely weather, so I think that makes everyone feel so much better. Here in the UK, um, we've had quite a lot of rain and almost freak weather about a couple of weeks ago. And it's now much, much better. It's sunny and warm and you know just right really so it makes you have a bit more get up and go i think plus the nights are lighter for longer um, it's lighter in the morning so i think i always wake up much better when it's lighter um and there's more time it seems to be more time in the day to do things anyway welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to my existing subscribers who might be popping in today I'm really grateful for all your support. So today I'm going to be doing another episode of the Marguerite Miller 52 week collage challenge, which for those who may not know, I've been doing in an A5 white lined notebook that I've had a few years and never used because I'm a bit of a notebook obsessor. <laughs> And we've done a few different collages in here over time. And it's all on just one A5 side of this book. I didn't start it until day, well, April. So I have tried to do a couple of weeks to catch up with everyone else who started in January. But essentially you get a different set of prompts every week. So... This is hashtag CW Planet 18. So it's week 18, and the five prompts are a name, an animal, a travel item, something in black and white, something written or drawn with your non dominant hand, which would be my left hand. Bonus item is a triangle. Now, from my understanding, you can use all six of those, including the bonus, or you can substitute the bonus for one of those five if you don't want to use it or if it's something you haven't got. So today I think might use all of it. We'll see how we get on. So the first thing I do is I ink around the edges of this white paper. My dobbers, my new dobbers have not arrived so I'm still manually inking around everything, just holding the pad in my hand, which is not ideal, but it's better than nothing. So I just take that edge off. Um, I haven't got a glaring white edge of paper showing like so. So once again, I'm going to have really inky hands. Good job it's not permanent, isn't it? Otherwise, I would be wearing gloves. Excuse me yawning, I've just finished work today. And it's I've been very tired. It's very, very busy. And the heat doesn't help when you're stuck indoors, but never mind. Could be worse. So the things I've got out, well, the name I thought I'd use the number stamps that... The lovely Tanya from Tatty Treasure sent me out of her stash because she, she was having a sort out and didn't want them. So I'm just going to put my own name, I think. My full name is Susan. I am known as Sue, but my full name is Susan and my middle name is Anne with an E. So we might put both of those on. We'll see. I'm not called Susan Anne. I am only ever known by Susan um, but all of my family and friends, colleagues, they all call me Sue, so Sue it is. Now, writing with a non-dominant hand or drawing, not very good, but we'll give it a go. I thought I'd write something on this pad. Um, an animal, I found a nice card of, with a rabbit on. I think it's an old fashioned rabbit because it's got a very unusual sort of slim face and quite a big fat body. But back in the sort of 17, 1800s, animals, 
particularly the domesticated ones like bulls and cows and sheep were different they look different to how they do now we've bred them to look a certain way now for mainly because of the meat industry but years and years ago if you see some of the paintings by Stubbs and people like that in the galleries you will see that some of the cows and the um, bulls and everything look totally different so I'm going to use this rabbit I feel like he hasn't got a lower jaw <laughs> I don't know if you could see that but it's just a stylized rabbit and I'm going to use him then something um, for a travel item well um, I've got a, a lovely cut out of a, a compass here and I'm going to use that that's come out of one of my collage books so I'm going to use a compass because you know if you were an intrepid traveler you wouldn't go anywhere without your compass would you so I'm going to cut that one out then I then it's something in black and white so again this is a page out of one of my collage books all of these pieces are in black and white I like this bird in this garland of flowers so I think we might use that and a backing paper I'm just using a piece of digital backing paper uh, this is a pink pinky colored page with elements collaged in the background so it's got some nice writing script writing some flowers um, and bits and pieces in the background which are quite nice and I thought that if I use something like this for a change my black and white pictures would show up better so that was the theory so I think that's everything and then if we do use the triangle it will be this lovely triangular label that I've got here and I can't remember off the top of my head whose label this is apologies for that I try and remember and list it below so let's get started so I'll put the book to one side for a moment um, find my tear ruler and I've got my glue stick ready and armed so I am going to cover the whole of the back with this paper so I am going to tear it like that and I think that piece will be fine so we've got two pieces we can choose from anyway especially if I make a mistake with this tearing Depends on the paper, I think, as to how easy I find it to tear. See, that little edge didn't come off. And also I find that on very thin paper, you tend to have to really press down on your ruler. So, what's everyone been up to? Have you all been busy? with your day-to-day -day lives and managing to do some crafting it's always nice to get something in isn't it actually find it's a very good wind down from work so that's that's okay it's not particularly straight at the bottom but it's okay I might just take a tiny more shaving off the side of this like so get rid of those bits as we go put that to one side and uh, this is the tricky bit now inking around with this well they promised that I would have had them by now and obviously there's been some sort of delay I just hope it's not one of these Amazon items that lead you into false pretenses because on amazon prime sometimes they say oh yes you'll get it next day or three or four days later and they actually put a date on it and then you think yeah that's great i have that and then you find out that it's coming from china and it's actually going to take about three weeks so i hope it's not going to take that long 
because, uh, oh, I don't know. I, I'm probably so used to using the dobber with this that I won't want to go back to, I'm just looking for my glue book, won't want to go back to how I used to use it. So for anyone who doesn't know, my dobber, this part has lost its stick and you can't get replacement bits for it. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a poor design because these now don't stick on it. They don't stay on. I mean, I could permanently glue one to it, um, but the sponge heads don't last that long either, depending on how, how often you use them. So if I stuck one on permanently, I'll be trying to get that off once I needed to replace it. And then I think that would cause other issues. So I'm just, I've just ordered a pack of two new ones. I mean, I have had that dobber. It is the only dobber I've had since I started actively doing this crafting over a year ago. Not actively in YouTube. That's much more recent. But it's only been a matter of, I don't know, four or five months, I think. But give that press down. I'm going to enjoy collaging on the back of there. Oh gosh, we've got some renegade lace there that seems to have inserted itself in the middle of the book. So I'm going to cut this out. I think we'll use this one. And obviously I'm not going to be able to fussy cut round it completely. So... I'm just going to do general cut round it, like so, because it's very, very intricate. And I'm already in, you know, having to try and curb my videos a bit because they are, I think I'm quite slow sometimes, and I think I'm taking a lot longer than perhaps i need to or perhaps is attractive to my viewers so for that reason we are just going generally round this like so well that's the bit i needed to go round so there it is it's quite pretty black and white piece I am just going to very lightly touch the end edges of this. That's it. That will be. It's only to define. I nearly said literally. Then did you see? Don't say it. Right, that's that piece, and we're gonna, again, we're just going to try and just generally cut round this compass. I've got a couple of general sort of collage books. Uh, this came out of the one that's just got general vintage pictures in it. But it is very handy for sort of quite obscure items that you may want for collaging, particularly when you've you've got these prompts to follow. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that collage book. I mean, I've got a botanical one. I I think I've only ever used one piece out of that so far um, and I've got a, a very rose orientated one I, th I think it's called vintage ladies or something but that's quite pretty I think I'm going to leave the white bits in there because I want 
want it to be quite a solid piece rather than a very flimsy piece. Just taking a bit more of that white edge off, even though I will go round it with this. I'm just using my go-to vintage photo. Haven't tried walnut stain. I don't think I've got that one. I think I've got gathered twigs. Yeah, I haven't really used that many of these. So I suppose I should have a go at using some. Maybe maybe I'll put them on. I keep a, a, an Amazon crafting list for my family. Um, and it's so that when I, it's birthdays or anything, Christmas, that sort of thing, they've got something to that they can refer to. So I'm just going to cut round this cute rabbit. He's not as cute as some, <laughs> but I like him. I'm going to give him a home in my collage book. So he's going to be forever on show there. Mind you, doubt if anyone's ever going to look at this. I may, I think I'm going to enjoy looking back on this. And I think I already, oh dear, might, oh, let's, let's use the trimmer because he could end up with nothing. Um, actually, I've got very little room to play with now because that edge is very close to his nose. <laughs> And I don't want to cut his nose off. If he only needed a slither. It's hard to tell when it's when it's a coloured piece, I, I find, unless it's my eyes. So there's his nose. If we push his nose in, I still feel there's a bit too much at the top end. I think that's okay. I think it's just the design on it. It's a bit of an optical illusion. Oh, excuse me being a bit nasally today. It's hay fever season. And whilst I don't have a major problem with hay fever, I do seem to have symptoms now and again. So we've got, we've got our animal. We've got, I think I'll leave him on there like that. Or will I tear around him? I think I might leave him there. We've got our travel item. This could be very hard to sort of place these pieces. That kind of needs to go up there like that. Something black and white, which is this. Which I quite like up in the corner. Then I've got this something non written with my non dominant hand. Um, I think well, I know I've just inked round him, but I think I'm just going to take that squareness away. I don't like it. So we are going to. Take that off and take that piece off and a tiny shaving down the bottom, hoping that I don't make mountains again. I always seem to do that when I'm tearing. Now we can't take his nose away. <laughs> Needs that. Rabbits use their noses a lot. They're always twitching their whiskers. Right, so he, he looks a bit a bit bedraggled actually. <laughs> As if he's been through the wars. Which he obviously has at my hands. <laughs> but he wishes he'd never been found in the file that I keep all my odds and ends in. Okay, well, I like him a lot better now. So, I think we might have him in the middle. 
and we're going to have that there we have him overlapping a bit then maybe we'll keep that there like that can you see now oh so travel item animal black and white something so there's not much to go on so writing in a non-dominant hand so what am I going to write um let's see there's nothing on the back that's of any importance so let me oh this is going to be very awkward so let's see um whew. okay so let's do it this way up because of those springs um this i feel awkward already i don't know where to put the book so um you how awful is this never no oh dear i think my nine-year-old grandsons could do better than this is around the corner You never know what is around a corner, so make. Oh dear, that wasn't very good. That K is not very good. Make every day count. What do you think? That's not too bad. That That is genuine. You've seen me do it with my left hand. I am right-handed. So we're going to take that out. And we're going to leave those bits on. I think I might leave those bits on. I'm just going to tear down here. Okay, you never know what is round the corner, so make the best. So make every day count. That's one of my philosophies, actually, based on things that have happened to me in my life, including the unthinkable losing my mum and dad, God rest their souls, to um, within 10 days of each other. So I never, when I was growing up as a child, and that was what 28 about 28 years ago now i uh, never thought that would ever happen to me um i don't think when you're a child you ever think of anything like that happening so okay so we're gonna have the rabbit standing on the compass the rabbit knows where he's going we've got our black and white piece we've got our piece written in the non-dominant hand and now we want to put out my name. Now, I won't do it in this ink. Let's do it in something that's going to stand out. Or well, let's use one that's become... A, these are the, my inks. Look, I've got all the minis. <laughs> Little baby ones, which are perfectly fine for me. So I've got gathered twigs. That's the one I... Other brown... 
antique linen and brushed corduroy now i'm looking for and i think they might be over here because i've kept them out for my peacock journal i'm going to use pine needles green is a favorite color of mine my main favorite color so we don't want that dog head what we want is to put my name on on here like that now we're going to have enough room for susan and we're going to do susan capital and then let's see if these fit in on this block so if they don't i'll have to get the bigger block out oh no wonder that's not sticking i've got it upside down oh so i want to get them lined up oh get them lined up i hope this all looks right might just about have enough room now the end's going to be stuck off the end isn't it no actually let me think we might have to do it diagonally across like so don't know if that's even going to give me enough room i may just have enough room i'll just reposition them sorry about this but we've got to get it fairly right so it doesn't matter about the rubbery edges what we need is to make sure that all the letters are more or less in line that they're going to fit on here they're not okay i have to get my bigger block out sorry about this excuse my head I'll just get my christmas box out find now that is a massive block but that will probably be sufficient put that on the floor right okay now we we'll be fine so is there a right or a wrong way i'll have to stamp this i think on a piece of paper first oh this reminds me a bit of when i was a child and I loved playing post offices and I had had a jumble printing set and you had a little little I don't know what you'd call it little holder thing in red and you'd have tweezers and these tiny like these but they were little black tiny rubber things and they were absolutely minute like a corner square there smaller than the squares on here and you you could make words up and dates and things and i would go around the house stamping the inside cover of all of everyone's books whether they liked it or not because i wanted to be a librarian and in the days when i was growing up we libraries were not computerized and they still used to go up with your book and you'd say, I want to take this book out. So say, you know, this was my book. I'd go up with it and then they'd open the front cover and in here would be a fly sheet, which a lot of you collect for your crafting now, your library sheets. And then they would find the next clear line and they'd stamp it with a date. And that would be the date that you had to bring it back by. Otherwise you'd face a fine unless you renewed it. So you could go in with it and you could renew it. So that's how we had all of those. Like that. Okay, let's let's give this a go. I'll find a sheet that we haven't already used and 
and there are the only thing with these squares I find is the ink goes on the actual square that the letter's on so I'm going to have to be very careful when I run the ink over the letters I'm just straightening the letters up they they seem to have so I want to oh how fiddly is this was this a good idea I wonder just going to wipe off any ink on those little blocks like that then I'm just going to gently rub that on the letters only and let's try again this on a flat surface and try it again Oh, I might have moved it. Oh, that's perfect. Now, I like that. The letters do look like they're around the right way. I'm wondering if that S is upside down. I just prefer the shape of it, I think, the other way up. So, that's ready to go. Okay, so we have to get some of this down. So, we're going to ink around this. We'd leave those torn that torn edge on because I quite like that gives it some interest okay so I think we'll put this piece down first <clears throat> I'm nearly at the end of this glue stick I think I was practicing with my non-dominant hand actually to write my name and then I thought well if I write my name I suppose you, you could combine two of the one of the prompts well two of them actually and actually put your own name down but I just thought this would be an extra piece please excuse Paddy someone's obviously outside I think my neighbour getting his uh Get himself worked up he's absolutely adamant in his own little head and I think we might use the art glitter for this piece because it's card he's you know sure in his own little head that we should not be allowing other people outside with vehicles even if it might be a neighbor coming home Oh, it could be one of his deadly enemies, Courier. So let's. I'm going to put this down here. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Guess what came? My dobbers. <laughs> We're just talking about them as well. Well, I call them dobbers. They're actually. Their proper name is. Cro um, the Cropper. <laughs> Prop cropper. Their proper name is blending tools. So my blending tools have arrived. My blending tools with some new pads. Now they look much better because they've got sort of Velcro on them. So I'll just drop one on the floor. Oh gosh. Yeah. So those are going to be. They've actually got Velcro on. Now mine didn't. I'm very pleased with those. They're very cute. And they go with my mat and everything. Oh, oh I seem to have... I never knew that was on the mat. How strange. Right, well, I could put those pads in my pad porch later. But we will commence with... Oh, I think I've got dropsy today because I've just dropped that one all on the floor. So I can't even see where it is. Isn't it funny when you drop something and it actually travels what seems like a million miles away? So 
let's see how well this sticks now to this that's good excellent right let's proceed sorry about that i knew paddy was getting worked up so the trouble is with them these couriers they i'm just testing it out i know i've already gone around this piece i'm just testing it out oh it's lovely 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 yeah um the couriers leave their engines running and that really agitates him even more than is possible so yeah so I was going to have that on top of there but we can't now because I've actually stuck that rabbit down so if I stick this here I don't think there's any other place for it um should have him there and that over it like so no i don't like that i prefer it down here so we'll have it down here so we put that on oh i do hate being interrupted you know i do try and avoid it if i can stopping the video but with that amount of barking it was just not acceptable trouble is you can hear your neighbor's dogs barking as well because i think it's a general thing that most dogs do not like um let's see maybe maybe we'll put it I don't know, do I want it there? No, I'm going to stick with my original choice. And he's going to go there. Like that. Okay. And we've got this piece to go down. Let's just swap the... Oh gosh, I feel all... See, it's interrupted my flow, my creative flow. And now I'm all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to have him up there. I like him up there. Mr. Bird. Like that. And then I want to put my name down here, I think. So we have it all in position. We've tested it out, just covering the letters and not the blocks that they're on. It looks doesn't look like you're putting any ink on it when I put the, the screen on. I can see I've got some there on the block, but I just want to get that off. There's only a tiny part of this collage and yet they seem to be spending a lot of time on it right okay let's try it okay now this is going to be difficult because this book so all the collage pieces are on it so i'm going to attempt to have it flat on the desk like so and I'm putting the name down the side can you see just pressing it for a while and there we have my name there so that's kind of nicely filled that up and then the other thing was a triangle which was the bonus I think I will put this triangle on and I may may put it there or I may put it here I think we'll put it down here so we don't want the green now I can go back that was pine needle green
Oh, it's so nice to have a a blender tool again. <laughs> so nice. Let's just use this art glitter. And this. I think we'll have that like so. Okay, so we have a name. We have my name in green. We have an animal here, rabbit. We have a travel item, which is a compass. And we have something in black and white, which is this lovely bird. And then we have something written with my non-dominant left hand, which is you never know what is around the corner, so make every day count. And the bonus was a triangle, which I've put down there. Now, I'm always tempted to start filling it up with other stuff. I might put... Anne, because that's my middle name, so I might put Anne along here. So we don't want the S or the U or that S. What we want is the A, the N. I think there's another courier just pulled up. Honestly, we live on a very tiny estate, but you would not believe the number of couriers that turn up here on a daily basis. So we want the capital A. I just bring them back over because I put them on. I've put them over on my trolley dolly. A. Have we got a capital A? Yes, we have. Here we have a capital A. Oof. Why do I, why well, don't need a small a? I can't spell, can I? Ah, but I'm going to need two n's. Hmm. And I'm going to need an e because it's found with an e. Now, to continue the throwing things on the floor, I have just put these on the floor now. Everything is dropping. I, I wonder sometimes whether I should do things straight after work when I'm tired. Now, hmm. I don't want to compromise, so I'm going to have to start by just doing the A and the N. And we want them this way, don't we? Because we want them along the bottom. Ah, but we want them backwards. So I'm going to start with the A and the N like that. Gosh, this is fiddly. <sighs> okay. That's still not straight. Right. The A and the N. I'm gonna we are going to use the green again. I had to put it away, but we're not we're going to need it again. So we're going to put the A and the N. Uh, I'm going to try what I did before, bend the book back like so. See if you can see me still. And I'm going to put the A and the N there, like so. And then I want to move that N to this side. And then I want the E. Don't want a capital E, I want a small E. I hope I've got one now after saying that. Gosh, there it is, I think. Yeah, it does just look like a knee on the upside down. So, oh gosh, this is really fiddly, right. Gently do that. Check, take that edge off there. 
gently and continue so I'm just continuing along here like so gosh there we have it we have Susan Anne with an E down the bottom right we definitely don't need that now so I think that's it really um do we need a flower or something up the side have we got anything else on this black and white sheet that we might want to put on no I don't think so what about a fussy cut from Edith Holden these are all really really big I have got one of those which is not Edith Holden but it's it's a die cut I like these because you can manipulate them could have that so I must have got it put in here some at some point when I was using these these are all very tall majority of them oh, I really love these violets but they're just going to be unless I cut that one off of that one and have a violet up there I don't really know why I want to put a flower on I just felt like it you know Perhaps I should just really stick with what I've got. So we have a butterfly on a oh the stem is that way up. The butterfly is quite a bit upside down, but we could no, we're not going to use any of those. That was a silly idea. Silly, silly idea. I hope they don't drop on the floor. Um, I think maybe we we'll just. What shall we have? Shall we have? Um, I just feel it needs something else. Maybe. Oh, I suppose we could put some washi tape on. Good. Put some washi on. Let me get my washi box out. Oh, excuse my head. I hope you didn't see it. Now I've got a nice new box of washes, which I uh, have to cut this label are from China but they're very nice lovely colours here so we've got really pretty ones actually we've got this pretty one here with some gold in it it's got all sorts of colours in we've got lavender coloured one we've got a that's a nice one that's got greens in it um about this one that's very pretty let's see which one do i like the best that would be quite nice that lavender one oh i do like that one actually no that's the one oh they'll have to go in my main box soon right just quickly find the end and we will put a piece of of washi on so I'm just gluing it by running it along the top of a glue stick because they don't stay on Otherwise, and I use my old scissors. 
and I'm just going to wrap it this way I think where I'm going to put that Like so, that's nice, and just one tiny piece, not a very long piece, can go here like that. like that hmm this is where I can't stop putting bits on <laughs> but I don't know I, I don't use washi tape that much I don't know what it is I think if you kind of almost forget what you've got sometimes so another piece there like that that will be fine let me cap the glue there okay, it is right okay and I shall just write on here what number it is so it is not with that pen actually with um, this one so I'm going to write hashtag CW planner and it's 18 isn't it And there we have our collage for hashtag CW Planner 18 of the Marguerite Miller's 52 week collage challenge. So to recap, the five prompts were a name and I've put my own name down, my middle name and my first name, which is Susan Ann. An animal, I've got this charming little rabbit, travel item, which is this compass something in black and white, this lovely bird coming down in a garland of flowers, something written in my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. I've just written, you never know what's around the corner, so make every day count. And then I put the bonus on, which is a triangle and a bit of washi just to finish it off. And there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed that. hope it's not too long when I go to upload it. Keep safe, take care and enjoy the sunshine if you're, if you have sunshine wherever you are in the world. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.